cat. This is Putin the cat. He's he's tired, so he's resting. So I'm not having him do a movie with me. He could chill out in his pad over here with the pink cheetah and all that stuff. He's got it pretty good, you know, all kinds of pillows and stuff, mirrors and everything else. And he's got some paintings on the wall here. So hey, cat, you got it pretty good. Well, I want to talk a little bit about inflation and deflation. You know, I think that's an argument that's been going on, but I think it's pretty clear that we're going into real hard inflation, not deflation. Uh, currency wars means that people, countries actually, are looking to export, increase their exports. They're trying to improve their economy. They have industries they want to build up, right? They want to, like, get everything going. But who the hell are they going to sell it to? See, everybody's trying to sell it to each other. Oh, no, so we got the cheapest goods, you know, because our currencies. uh the, the, you know, it's getting devalued. But I'll tell you one currency, the currency that's the uh, reserve currency of the world under like tri um, currency wars, they're the one, that's the one that's going to get hit the hardest. That one will get hit the hardest. So, um, but basically, you know, I know like Gerald Salenti said it too, but it is common. It's, it's 101 economics. Currency wars lead to trade wars, lead to real wars. And real wars, if there's real, the more the conflict that goes on, the more you see gold go up because times of tension always happens. It's always happened like that. It happened in both world wars, civil war. Before that, gold goes up. Gold goes up. Also, oil goes up. And also, silver can take off. If you look back too, when did we had silver really take off? 1979, when it was really, you know, that would have been about $402 an ounce today with inflation, or maybe even more than that now. Um, that was during the Iranian hostage crisis, and there was a lot of tension in the Middle East. So as things heat up, you're going to see silver take off. Now, I also want to point out about some of the silver charlatans out there, because there's going to be a limit to how long it's going to go up or for how many years. And it's going to go like this, you know, as we go up. Now, I post a lot of pictures of, like, women with bicycles and stuff like that because just talking about silver is freaking boring. Boring. But I want people to stick with it. But I also urge people, if you get crazy gains, to sell some of it. You know, you can always add later on. It's not going to go up in a straight line. If something, that's like Mark Farber's advice. I listen to Mark Farber. And I notice people out there like uh, Brother John F. Probably is the biggest silver blogger or the one on YouTube. I don't like what he says. You know, this isn't something spiteful. But I used to listen to him. But I, I've, I'm really, I really picked up on what I think this guy was was some kind of uh, Series Seven trader that basically didn't do well. Didn't do well. And he went, that's what I'm picking up on. And he knows a lot about tech crap and stuff like that. But tech crap only goes so far. Because you can argue charts and graphs. I mean, I, you could sell insurance policies with charts and graphs. Do you want to buy Do you want to buy annuities instead of physical silver? I mean, I could. you could show charts on that. There's all kinds of people that could show charts on that. It's not the fact that you use charts. It's the, it's the type of... Uh, being able to read the forest, read the layout, and yeah, read when you're getting scammed. I mean, that could be conspiracies, but not everything is a conspiracy. Not everything in the West is evil. And uh, you know, despite the Westerner bankers being evil, there's other people in China and Russia that are evil, too. I mean, it's not like if the world got knocked, turned around, and all of a sudden the power is in China, everything's going to be great. Hell, wrong out. That's not going to happen. No way. No way. It's actually like uh, it's all over the entire globe. I don't trust what Brother John F. says. That's why I don't listen to him. I, I think he's got an agenda. And I'm not surprised, but I, you know, I took very careful note how much he never talked about how about when Sprott sold silver at the, type, at the height. And also I remember picking up um, articles on the web. I, I read them too late about warning people to sell PSLV back in September because PSLV insiders were selling silver back in August and September of 2011. And you should too. He never mentioned nothing about that. So I think that guy is not some, somebody not to be trusted. But, you know, 
he, he attracts the crazy Christians. So I'm thinking, you know, what the hell? We can all go over a cliff here together. That's the way I look at it. Really, I don't give a shit. I guess it works out all in the long run. But my plan is, I think uh, silver's going to hit about, it, it might hit over 70 at one point in time, and that would be the time to sell some. But that's not going to be the final height. No way in hell. Uh, it's, it's probably got five more years to go. And uh, four or five years, 2017 and 2018. But, you know, as things heat up and the currency wars go on, trade wars go on, China's looking to boost exports. Uh, Russia, I mean, uh, U.S. wants to uh, China to devalue the do um, their, you know, well, actually, they want China to appreciate the yuan, which would devalue the dollar. They're not saying they want to devalue the dollar, but in effect, that'll happen. They, the, the Washington's trying to put pressure on China to appreciate the yuan, but that'll kill their exports. They want to like, deep, you know, they want to go the other way around. So you're going to see the rhetoric on here about currency wars which may lead to hot wars, indirectly or directly. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but, you know, we already see how China's threatening Japan, you know, with the oil. And we also see the situation in Iran is not going away. It's actually going to come to a head at some point in time. Commodities are going to go through the roof. They're going to go way up, way up. But like I said, they're not going to go up in a straight line. The guy I listen to mainly is Mark Farber. He's in gold, not because of deflation, He's in gold because of fear of catastrophic collapse and inflation. Inflation. So, um, you know, if there's deflation and a catastrophic collapse, well, you might see, like, you know, big hard assets go for a fraction of what they are. Maybe gold, if gold pulls back a little bit under that circumstance, the other assets are going to pull back a hell of a lot farther. But I don't see that. Not with all the money printing. I think we're going into big time inflation. It's not just money printing in the Federal Reserve, it's in Europe, and it's also in Japan. It's all over the world. Lots of money printing going on. It's just that the money is being held at the banks, it's being held on the balance sheets. But eventually, you know, it's like somebody pointed out that was interviewing Mark Farber. He says, well, where do investors put their money if they're just not getting any interest on their money? He says, they, if the stock, stock market's not safe, and it might have a 20% correction. Well, you know, old girl should have thought right there, silver, gold, and, and other hard assets like oil and agriculture and things like that. That were where you put your money. And uh, the light bulb is going to come on because actually even mining stocks are at a 30-year low. Now, I'm not really much into mining stocks at all, but, you know, I got a little bit. And, uh, but, you know, I'll just wait. I'll just wait on that. I'll just wait on that. I'm mainly into physical metals, and that's really the place to be. But I do want to point out and actually warn people about people like, you know, I don't I don't like that guy, Brother John F. Now that I really looked into what he, I, I sense what he's about. I think this guy is just making a lot of money off of YouTube. And I mainly do silver videos because I don't like what other people on YouTube are saying about silver. That's the main reason I do them. It's not even for money. I actually make more money on other videos if, you know, whatever money there is, it's usually on health and cars. And i actually rather do them. But I will continue to keep doing silver videos because I don't like the message that some of these other guys are putting out. And I think they're snake oil, big time. Um, you know, if that's what people want to follow, go right ahead. But I think oh, but maybe that's the way it should work out because, you know, sometimes uh, people get what they deserve by following garbage like that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. The guy I mainly follow, I really listen to every damn word he says, is Mark Farber. I said this many times over again. And uh, if you look... He's been, he's been very accurate. He's been very accurate. But like he says, he doesn't know 110%. But use a little common sense. If silver goes up to 70, 72, or some crazy number like that this year, you, you're going to keep all of it? I mean, I'll, I'll be stupid and keep most of it. You know, I probably should sell all of it at that thing and wait for a pullback, but I won't do that because I'm so damn bullish on the metal. I will sell some of it, though. I mean, I don't know if it's going to go up that high, but if it breaks through 50... It might get a pretty good blast past that. Past that, we have a war with Iran. It might go past that pretty well. So that's what I'm waiting for. But that will not be the finish. That will not be the finish. We're not going into deflation. We're going into inflation. There's no doubt about it. It's lurking behind the scenes. It's like a freaking monster behind a dam, and it's going to unleash pretty fast. And you know, the guys that think they're in control, control freaks, they're not in control. They're not. I'm telling you this straight up, straight up. 
that's just how it's going to be. Watch out for inflation and keep your physical metals.